life is inherently short and fragile and you ought to do your best to treasure it, nurture it, and make the most out of it. That doesn't mean being careful. As a matter of fact, it means the opposite. It means taking as much from life as you possibly can. In the back of your mind, you know that those lights can be put out at any second. So you want to go with the idea that I didn't waste any of this. Everybody knows who Harry Weber is in St. Louis, an incredible master sculptor. I think Harry Weber is the best in motion sculptor in the world today. His statues just, you can see the motion even though they're static. The depiction of the triumphant return of the expedition is what Harry really captured. It wasn't just two guys coming back on a boat after two years in the wilderness. There's a look on his face that we have done something special and, and Harry captured that. He has been able to take a moment out of history and preserve it for generations. He took what these players are known for, the highlights of what they could do that was so unique and so special and uh, you know made them such great players and they're action shots so it's not just a stoic statue, it's an action shot of each of these players at their best. We wanted it to look like I mean, a dance of batting and throwing and hitting and catching. We, as much as we could, picked specific moments that represented the players we had in mind. Every once in a while I tease Harry a little bit about how many pieces of his work that we have. And of course he's an internationally recognized artist. But I can't imagine he's got any more work in one location than he does right here. So our walkway is kind of like the Harry Weber Walk of Fame.